Hey, this is Leo, and in this video I'll show you what is new in Ableset version 1.9. Let's start with the first feature, which is the ability to color code songs. So you can now add a color to a song or a section by placing the color name in square brackets, and I've done this for all 18 available colors here. And if I now go to Ableset, you will see that all of the colors are used in the set list. So it's uh, pretty easy to mark certain songs or sections. I've added some different colors for subsections here. And these same colors are also reflected in the performance view. So if I go through the songs here, you'll see that the title and the play bar are all using the color of your song. The next feature is the ability to define your song sections using a MIDI track. That is possible when you're using Live 11. So if you have a big session with lots of songs and lots of song sections, the markers can get a bit crowded. And uh, this is my example here with, I think, five or six songs, and it's already looking quite crowded. And now let me load up the session that uses the MIDI clips. And that looks a lot better, right? So uh, you just create a new track called Sections, and in this track you can place a MIDI clip per section. Um, you can color code them any way you like, and yeah, this looks uh, just a lot nicer, I think. And uh, this behaves exactly the same way that normal song sections would behave, so you can jump to them and start playback. The only drawback is that you cannot jump to a song section that is defined by a MIDI clip while live is playing. This is currently a limitation from uh, Ableton side of things, so uh, I hope this will be possible in the future. But I've uh, added a small workaround if there are specific sections that you would like to jump to. You can just place a marker that doesn't have a name or just uh, has live's default name at the beginning of a section. And Ableset will recognize that this is just a marker for jumping to. So. Uh, it will still appear as verse 2 in this case, for example, but now I can jump to it while life is playing. So let's go to this song, let's start playback, and let's jump to verse 2. You can also use um, flags like plus loop or plus pause in these clips. And that uh, brings me to the next feature, which is the ability to make use of life's own loop bracket. So if I add the plus loop flag here and jump to it, you will see that Ableset now automatically places the loop bracket around this section clip. Let me just uh, put Ableset and Live side by side. What you will see in Ableset is that we now have a loop button, which allows you to disable the loop and enable it um, as you please. I've also added a new option, uh, which you can find in the Ableset settings menu, and that is called auto loop the current section. If you enable that, then whatever section you jump to, um, Ableset will automatically move the loop bracket to be around that section. This allows you to spontaneously loop any song section. So let's say we're currently in the chorus and we think that now is a good time, um, the audience is in the mood, uh, we want to play the same chorus again. We can just activate the loop. And now this section will loop. And uh, if it's time to go to the next section, we can just disable the loop and let it run through. The last feature I want to touch on is that Ableset now uses your computer's domain name instead of its IP address for the web app. So if you go to the Ableset menu bar app, you will see that you now have your host name in here. Um, in addition to the IP address, you can still access Ableset using the IP address. But the cool thing about the hostname is that it doesn't change no matter which network configuration you have, or if you don't have any network connection at all, it will always stay the same. If you want to change that, you can go to the settings, click on change hostname, that will open your system preferences where you can edit your name. In my case, it's just MBP14, but it could also be playback.local. And now Ableset is reachable at playback.local. This update contains lots of other features and improvements, so uh, if you want to get the whole list, uh, feel free to check out the link in the description below. That's all for now. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to let me know, and I wish you a great day.